Greetings, my friend. My name is Bob Olson. I've been attending Salem First Christian Church for 21 years now. I was recruited to this church by my then soon-to-be wife, who had been attending here for two years prior with her two children. We were married by Pastor Chuck in an ice storm, and I was amazed that Chuck and Penny were able to get to our service, but we were so thankful and grateful. Prior to joining here, I was not a regular church attender. I was a single parent with three active children. Once I started attending, I felt welcomed and loved here. Now we say we are a welcoming church, and I am here to tell you that you live up to your billing. Linda and I attended about every week, we enjoyed the weekly service, the events, and the community here. We started becoming more active in church as deacons, and then Allison, who was our business administrator at the time, recruited me to be a trustee. And as any trustee will tell you, you have no idea what you're getting into. After about three years, I learned a little bit about church administrative functions and started volunteering more often. I became uh, in a number of leadership positions here at the church and am currently a deacon. I'm on the finance committee and I'm chair of the long range planning committee. As I reflect back about all of this, I truly see God leading me down this path to this church and to this place. I'm so thankful this church and honored to worship here, and to serve here. Okay, enough about me. Let's talk about stewardship. We've heard it a number of times that stewardship can come in many forms, but all these forms are about supporting and strengthening our church and the lives of others. Most of us give financially what we can. Our finances are the fuel that drive our ministries and our worshiping. Our church serves in so many ways, we all know about Vacation Bible Fest, Snack Bag Ministry, the Green Chalice Initiative. In addition to this, did you know that monthly we make donations to Northwest Human Services to the regional and national associations? These are wonderful organizations that extend their reach in multiple ways. Okay, we have a great long-range planning committee here at the church. One we are working on a number of ways to strengthen the church. One of those is to begin reaching out more often beyond our walls. This is so basic in Christian life. Anyone who has served in this way knows how good it feels to help others by getting out there. People in our community can see who we are and the type of church that we are. It's going to take volunteers that can give of their time and talents to do this work. Please look forward to these opportunities and be the hands and feet of Jesus. And don't forget, if you have the resources that might allow, please plan to add Salem First in your estate plans. There are a number of ways to do this. Obviously, included in your will is the most common, but if you can, there are life insurance policies that name the church. There are gift annuities and trust plans as well. If you'd like to talk about any of these, feel free to find me and we can address this. One other, don't forget, please do not forget to turn in your pledge cards. These are very important for our financial planning purposes here at the church. Thank you and God bless.